So we're out here in the sensory garden at the Arboretum, and we're going to take cuttings of the rosemary plant. And this plant can have um, softwood characteristics or semi-hardwood characteristics due to its, um, its growth habits. So what we only want to do is take a cutting that's at least six or eight inches long. That way we have enough material to work with once we get it into the lab room and start making cuttings for our, our propagation tray. And so we're also going to take cuttings from this Acrocona spruce tree in the sensory garden. And this would be uh, considered an evergreen. And what we want to do is take a cutting with lateral and terminal buds. So we just come in. And again, we want to take about six or eight inches so we have plenty to work with when we get into the, the lab room. Hello, my name is Clark Beecraft, and uh, we're here today at the uh, Community Arboretum and in the Charles L. Downs Natural Science Center here at Virginia Western Community College. And we're going to uh, talk about plant propagation. So we have our cuttings that we took out in the sensory garden, and um, this is our pine tree. One of the main things to remember about taking cuttings is the best time to take them is early morning. Um, before the heat of the sun comes out so that the plants are turgid. You don't have any wilted ends or you're not stressed from, from the heat of the day. And again, like we mentioned, we want cuttings with um, terminal and lateral shoots. And even though we took this long cutting, we only need about four or five inches, depending on the plant, to stick into our media. And speaking of our media, you want a media that drains well. It has a lot of perlite in it so that the soil will not hold water once it's in the greenhouse. So what we're doing is pulling all the needles off the lower portion of your cutting. You want to have a good sharp knife for this project. And what we do is take, and we're actually going to scar the bark on this cutting. And on one side, we just take the outer layer of bark so that we're exposing that inner layer of the stem of the plant. And this edge on the plant is where our roots will start to callus, or the plant will start to callus and our roots will form. One important ingredient that we use for rooting and, and plant propagation is our rooting hormone. This is endobutyric acid. There are three variations of this, uh, one, two, and three, which determine how strong that endobutyric acid is. So this is available from a retail standpoint as root tone. Now what we've done is taken a little bit of this rooting hormone out of the container and put it in a smaller container so we don't contaminate our stock material. And we take our cutting and dip it into the rooting hormone and tap off the excess. Now we don't want to take this and stick it right into the soil, otherwise we'll, we'll uh, remove all of our rooting hormones. So we use our finger as a dibble, make a hole, and we insert our cutting into the soil and just lightly firm it. Now for our rosemary cuttings, which is going to be a herbaceous cutting or um, softwood cutting because we're going to take the new growth. We just take a cutting about this long. We're looking at three to five inches. And we want to remove, again, remove our lower leaves. And if you notice, it, it automatically scarred for us, but we'll go ahead and just scarred a little more so we remove that outer layer. And we're going to stick it in the rooting hormone as well. And again, insert this into our flat of media. And as you can see, the rosemary has already started to wilt. So that's pretty typical of that plant. And once we get it in the greenhouse, it will be under the mist system and, and it'll be okay. Mm -hmm. 